pajama. Back at you again with another one. Today's episode going to be on a subject serious. A serious subject that has piqued my interest. From the weirdest source, of course, Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Ocho Cinco. On the Nightcap Podcast with my man Shannon Sharp, A.K. Uncle Shay Shay. They were discussing pay for the WNBA players and the pay difference between the men and the women leagues. Unc was being real and forth right. Guess he hadn't got the memo that you can't tell these women of today the truth. Let me get a roll tie. <laughs> I'll subject a little bit. I was in Walmart the other day, and a woman, a female, walked up to me and asked me, Sir, can you tell me where the automotive department is? I looked at her, and I thought about all the trouble that men get in when they tell women stuff. So I told her, mm-hmm. She said, What does that mean? I said, mm-hmm. Let me get a road tie. In other words, I ain't saying a damn thing to you. Find it yourself. Get out my face because I don't want no problems. <laughs> Anyhow, anyway, after they were discussing the, the difference in pay between the men and the women, <clears throat> he went on to say that the issue of pay comes from the product you are looking to monetize. If the product is not good or selling, how do you expect to stay in business? Much less give more to the employees, the workers, or in this case, the WNBA ball players. Look, it's simple. If a league has just has lost 93% of its viewership over the past two decades and has never turned a profit, how is it still functioning? Answer is, the league is getting supplemented by the NBA, where they sell out arenas, have sponsors and advertisers, partners that make the league profitable, viable, and a good business investment. And let me get a roll tie. But back to that viewership. I'm part of the 93% viewership that they lost. Hell, I used to watch Houston all the time when they first started with Cynthia Cooper and all them. Sheriff Swoops. Yes, sir. Boy, that was my team right there. I watched more Houston games in the WNBA than I watched in the NBA them first two, three years they were playing. Let me get a roll tie. So, I'm part of the 93% that they lost. Now, what kept me interested in it was, I felt the women love the game, more so than trying to get paid. It seems like these women that are playing in the league now ain't worried about nothing but a paycheck. Now, if you're worried about a paycheck and don't love the game, and don't want to grow the league the way it needs to be grown, then guess what? You need to go to school for nursing, bartending or something, and get you a job, a real job, like everybody else. (laughs) Anyhow, anyway, from my understanding or from my business acumen, I can't seem to understand why these women don't want to change their game to fit their athletic capabilities. One is to lower the rim to nine feet. The average woman vertical leap is nowhere near a man's vertical leap. Blame that on genetics. Lowering the rim would give the women more of a similar game to the men, the NBA the league that is supplementing them. Wouldn't it be just ridiculous to see a fast break by a woman going up strong and poking on a defender? 
That would be bananas. <laughs> the bigs could truly play big just as they do in the NBA. Secondly, they should shorten the court by 10 feet. Since the women are not as fast as their male counterparts, this would give the illusion of a faster advancement of the ball up and down the court. The third thing would be to market the game to younger females. Grade school, age, in the hopes of making it appealing to females at a much younger age to benefit the league in the future. That was a mistake that they made when they first started the league, the inception. Just think if they would have did that 20 years ago. All them students, all them little girls that they marketed to would be grown adults now. Would be young ladies that they could really market the league to. Well, you live and learn. And lastly, what the WNB players need to do ASAP is stop damn complaining about your pay and lack thereof compared to the men in the NBA. It sounds very entitled and damn near stupid, unintelligent to be pitching the idea of higher pay equal to your male counterparts when no one is checking for y'all like that. I'm just telling the truth. How the hell you expect to get paid like LeBron James? You can't dunk. You can't shoot threes efficiently. You can't do nothing that that man do efficiently. And who want to come there and see you shoot jump shots? Hell, I can shoot jump shots in my driveway. I go there to see him tear the damn rim down. Let me get a roll tie. Woo, sir. Woo, sir. I got to calm down. Oh, Lord. The WNBA, and I'm just giving you the facts, has never turned a profit. And until you turn a profit, pay homage and more respect to the NBA and its players. Who are your biggest supporters? And what I mean by that is what I said literally and financially. The NBA basically bankrolls the WNBA. And the lack of respect from its players. These women. Toward the men. Is virtually appalling. To say the least. You can't give an honest critique. Without being labeled a woman basher. Or a sexist. I guess you have to lie. And just make believe. That the product is as good. As most of them believe. Let me get a roll time. To be honest. I watched it all the time when Houston, Cynthia Cooper and Sherry Swoops were playing, just like I said earlier. It was exciting then. Need to get back to that. And I think once you get back to that, the true essence of the game, and really play from your heart, think your viewers will come back. But you got to put some players out there on the coat that are likable. Don't nobody like nobody that's always angry and got something negative to say. I know I don't. And I'm not going to patronize nobody like that. Hell, if I go to a drive-thru and they take too damn long, I ain't coming back. So learn from that. How can a true basketball fan with 50 plus years invested in the sport be a fan when its players are totally delusional? Brittany Griner, for instance, saying she beat Boogie Cousins in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Are you serious? She couldn't and wouldn't score a damn basket if, he, if she missed her first shot. Matter of fact, I doubt she would even get a good shot. <laughs> Let me get a roll tie. A prayer is what she need to even get that. Totally delusional. Candace Parker on the NBA countdown show saying it's coming in relation to all females dunking the ball. My next child will be drop step dunking. <laughs> Is what she said 
on live TV. Miss Parker, Miss Parker, there are still some NBA players that can't drop step dunk currently. Let me get a roll tie. Anyway, anyhow, I hope these women wake up and realize they have to make changes or face the harsh realization that as the WNBA stands currently, it don't make dollars, and that don't make sense. Let me get a roll tie. But anyway, anyhow, Bama Rama done wrote a song, dropping them tones. Want to hit? Hit go. Do, do, do. Cause I'm not willing to change for you. You attack me. Jealousy. Always wondering if I lower the rim. Our game could compare it to you. Y'all want too much from us. Why can't y'all shine? Why can't y'all shine? You wanna play like me someday? The girls from the WNBA gonna change how we play. We play, oh, change the way we play. Doom. We gonna change how we play. Ooh, ooh, how we play in the WNBA. <laughs> Bama, Jamma, putting it down, dropping them toes. Standing on Benny, four flats on the Cadillac. Yes, sir. But anyway, in a high, I hope they don't come for me because I'll be right here. Bama Jamma, we out of here. Peace.